Hey there everyone, welcome to another Minecraft tutorial video here on the channel and in this video I'm going to show you how to do this. So this is actually using text displays in Minecraft. So this is a fairly modern or new way to do text in Minecraft. I've actually not shown text displays on the channel before, but it allows you to have floating text in the game very, very easily. Now, Previously in Minecraft, you had to use invisible entities with names on them to get floating text, but you can use the text display to do this. Now, the other very cool thing is you can also change the scaling on the text. So the text that's, just, that's actually just, uh, behind me right here is 100 times bigger than normal. So I'm going to show you how to do that, and I'm also going to show you how to remove the text as well. So I'm going to show you how to spawn it in, how to make it bigger, and how to remove it as well. So it should be pretty cool. But um, first off, we're going to actually just spawn some in. So using a command like this, um, I'm going to be spawning in some differently colored text. So I'm going to be summoning some text display entity right here. And if I actually do this, you can see that I am I have got some red and cyan text right here. Now, if I use another command, I can then make it bigger. So making it bigger, I'm going to be using this command right here. And this is modifying the entity data to increase the scaling of the text. So as you can see here, we have the full blown text right here. And then I'm going to use this command in order to actually remove that said text, okay? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you in a text editor the commands I'm showing you in this video because it's easier to do that. And I'm going to also explain all of the options you need to do in order to get text to look like this. All right, if we're now inside a text editor right here, and I'm going to be able to show you uh, more about the command and all the options you need to know about. Um, there's going to be three commands I'm going to be going through in this portion of the video. And um, as I said before, we're doing text displays and we are summoning a text display entity. So these commands are for the yellow and orange text you saw at the very start of the video. Um, but uh, what we're using here is when we're summoning the text display, we're using relative coordinates with tilde characters like this to say that we're spawning the text display at the player's location. So please bear that in mind with the command. And I've now got to, got to go through a lot of options that are assigned to this command. Now, the first one is backgrounds. Now, um, if background is turned on, then I believe with the background, it can have background behind the text. Because I've, set, I've assigned it to zero, then there's no background whatsoever. But you can assign some background to the text. But I find it better that the text is just floating, so I have background as zero. We also have the line width, which as default is set to 200. Now, what that actually means is that there's a maximum of 200 characters until the text display moves on to the next line. So you can adjust that to how you want. Uh, so bear that in mind. Now, the next one is billboard center. Now, this one is pretty cool. This allows it so that the text follows the player like a billboard effect. Um, the next one is the alignment. Now this is to talk this is basically talking about the text alignment. So is it aligned in the center or is it at the left or the right? So again you can set that to as you want. But if it's aligned in the center, then all of the lines of text should be in the center and go out the certain width they're able to go to. Uh, the next one is see through. Now, this one's kind of interesting. If you set see through to false, like I have right here, all of the characters of, of the text should be completely opaque. So you shouldn't be able to look through them. If see through is set to true, then you will be able to see blocks behind the text. But that's just a choice, I guess, for that. If you like the shadow effect I'm showing you with the text, 
then shadow set to true will put the shadow effect on the text. If you set it to false, then it'll just be normal colored text. We also have view range right here. I think this is the number of blocks you can see the text, I think. Um, although I have found that sometimes this doesn't change things. So um, it might be one of those things where it, it, it might eventually stop rendering when you set it a particular value, but either or that is available. And then the next part is the most important part, and that is the text data. So uh, the text data is contained within these single quotes right here. And we have a collection of text objects. So we have one text object right here and a second one right here. So each text object has a text attribute with characters inside and then a color code uh, with a hexadecimal color code like so. So this is the yellow color code and this is orange. So you can set pretty much almost any color you want using this method, okay? And once the text data is set, there's also an entity tag on this text display. Now, the reason why I do that is that it makes it easier to specify and target that piece of text. So that's if you're changing the transformation, making it bigger, or perhaps even moving it around or even deleting the text. So in this case, I'm using a floating tag, but each bit of text I made, I would make a new tag. So bear that in mind. Now, um, this command can get pretty long and I have found cases where the command gets so long, you cannot just type it out in the chat to run the command. So you may have to use a command block instead to place the text if the command gets too long, okay? Now, the second command right here is pretty straightforward. This is targeting that bit of text and making it a hundred times bigger, okay? Like you saw in those previous examples. So what we're doing here is we're modifying data of an entity and we're selecting the floating tag that's on the bit of text we just made. And we're doing transformation.scale and we're setting these three numbers against it so that it is 100 times bigger. Now, if you wanted it to be 50 times bigger, you would use 50F instead. So you can play around with that as much as you like. And the final one right here, it allows you to remove the text. So we're going to be using uh, slash kill at E and again, using the floating tag. So we're doing at E because that means all entities. So we're trying to find any entities with this floating tag. And we're also using the limit and the sort parameters as well so that it finds the nearest text to us uh, just as a precaution and just so that the command actually works. But those are the three commands right there. And that should allow you to make your own floating text in Minecraft. All right, everyone, thank you for watching this tutorial right here. Hopefully this was useful to you and it allows you to make these uh, floating text displays in Minecraft. If it did, then a like, subscribe on the video would be very much appreciated. And make sure that you hit the notification bell so you're notified of any future videos here on the channel. If you want to follow my socials, they're on screen or in the description. But uh, see you guys next time. Have fun with this. There's a lot of things you can do with this. And uh, the flexibility of the command is actually very, very good. So have fun with it. Stay happy and healthy as always. And bye-bye.